Okay, so hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the Home Gaming Channel. My name is James Dunn, and today I'm playing Hidden Agenda. So this is the first time, unlike the other games like Horizon Zero Dawn and Crash Bandicoot, where Crash Bandicoot I played a little bit off and Horizon Zero Dawn I completed, I have not played this game at all. I've seen a little bit of gameplay. Awaiting device. Wait, hang on. It was. Right, hold on. So I actually need this on my phone. I thought it was fine. I thought that you could get away with it. Um, without using it. Unless, um... Huh, okay. I thought you could get away with it unless, um... Uh, of course you want to connect with other players. I thought if you wanted other players involved, then you would need it on your phone. So apparently I need it anyway. So, okay. So what do I do i have to go on to launch the app on your mobile device and tap play but right oh okay hang on so say network is your playstation 4 playstation 4 system is currently connected to, yeah that's it yeah you've got to use the same wi-fi apparently all right well that's a little inconvenient because if you're playing by yourself i don't get why you need it on your phone wait i'm not going to use this on my phone am i oh well i mean I have been looking forward to playing this game, um, simply because I I like the fact it is one of those like decision making games. Um, I quite like that, um, but this one's had mixed reviews. Some people said it's okay. Um, it, it's mainly like the, the just the way you play it. People don't really. Some people have opinions on, but anyway, I'll be back in a sec because. Um, I'm just going to install this, and then I'll be right back. I was originally going to speak once it got to the main menu, but it seems I have to do this first. So, just a second. Right, so it's just installing it now. And uh, and there we go, it's finished. And something I've noticed on Google Play, it says that 500, it's got 500,000 downloads. Wow. I mean, there are some that have got more, but I mean, that's... that's Quite impressive. So obviously a lot of people um, either have played this game or are still playing this game. So let's just boot up the app. Obviously you can't see any of this. And that's coming from my phone. Join game. Alright, so what do I do? This device must be connected to the same network as your PlayStation 4 system. Alright, license. Do I go on license? Oh wait, no, just press play game. Enter your name. I'll just put my first name since it wasn't very specific. Uh, choose a colour. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go green. Look at TV. James is in control. <laughs> in Hidden Agenda, touch the screen on your device to move your colour pointer on the screen. James, touch your screen and move your finger to place your pointer in the box above. Right. Oh, actually, you know what? This is actually quite cool. But at the same time, I was told you could use your controller unless you were doing multiplayer. So, I'm using my... Alright then. Uh, I. Alright, let me look at what time I've started this. So, about... I think I started about, like... I don't know, maybe five minutes ago, so I have to remember when the half an hour is up because I don't want to be on this for too long because I, I have set times for how long I want to be doing this for and I've got other games to record today as well. So, let's go, right, okay, obviously we have to go on new game over there. Well, you know what, I, I quite like this. I mean, it, it's not too bad. So, competitive mode, um, well, no one else is playing with me at the moment. I, you know what? Depending on how good this game is, um, then I will I will put up a video where I'm playing on competitive mode. Um, depending on how good this is. So for now, I'm just going to go on story mode and uh, solve the crime. Yeah, but I was told In story that you mode, could... oh. you're playing the game for fun. Work together to solve the crime and play the story you want to see. Ooh, you know what? I quite like the sound of this. All right, start. Uh, but I was told though that you could do, you could use your controller unless it was multiplayer. So 
either they've changed that where you have to use your phone now or because people were saying that you know oh I, d I don't know every choice you make changes the future that's it now some what's that some effect relationships between characters Others make waves that change everything. I quite like these kind of games, even though there's not much gameplay in them, but choose wisely. Okay. Well, right, I tell you what, I haven't seen anyone else play this game. Um, I've only looked at reviews, so I've seen bits of footage. Um, so, you know, you guys that might have already seen the gameplay to this might be screaming at me with certain moments where I make really <laughs> bad decisions. Um, I don't know how... Oh, here we go. Okay, what's going on here? Interesting start. Just at his dinner. Oh, okay. Oh, he's one of the... Oh, he's a hostage. He doesn't look like... I thought he was, um, the main guy. Oh! Oh, I'm about to stop right away. Gosh, that's really loud. <laughs> I've got my earphones in. If you guys don't want me to talk through moments like that, then just let me know. Because, I mean, I don't know. I, I kind of don't want to just sit here quietly and not say anything. The Trapper. Right. It looks like it's about to start. You ready for this? Oh, of course I'm ready. There goes my microphone for some reason. What's the play? Vote for choices by moving your pointer inside the box. Okay. Cautious. Let's. Oh. Okay. Can you guys still hear me? Um. Hope that's still recording. Okay. I just lost the volume, so I couldn't hear myself in it. So I thought that something went wrong there. Okay. Uh. So cautious. Let's scope it out. Confident. We'll take the front door. Um. <sighs> You know what, realistically, you would be cautious, any... It doesn't feel right. Let's scope it out. Any officer would be cautious, you know, they don't just go charging in, guns blazing. They do do things as carefully as they can, because obviously their lives are at stake. Um, so they do want to do things as carefully as possible. I'll take the door around back. Windows and I. Stealth mode. I'll see you in there. Yeah, we don't want to let the guy know that we're here. If he doesn't already know, that is. Use your pointer to hit the target before the timer runs out. Oh no. Okay. What's going to happen here then? Oh, it was a tripwire. Gosh, okay. <laughs> right, I need to prepare for moments like that. Find your partner, investigate. Okay. Now, the sensible thing to do... Hmm. I think, you know what, this is how people get killed off in films, when they go alone. I mean, you're better off having somebody with you, so, you know what, find your partner. Oh. I'm just gonna do this based on how I feel with this. So that I could be making bad decisions already. I don't know. I, I don't know how this is going to play out. But uh, I'm I'm liking it so far. Freak! Hands 
up. Hands up now. To shoot, move your pointer onto the target. Think before you shoot. You do not have to open fire. Yes, I've heard about some games like this. You don't have to do it. I'm not going to, unless it, if it should. Hands behind your head, no sudden moves. Unless, if it aims to the head, then no. Oh, I don't want to kill him. I don't want to kill him. And he's not... He's not doing anything. He looks like he's going to, but he's not. Okay. And I got a trophy. Yay, Peacemaker. Yeah, because I don't... He I wasn't shoot. doing anything. Don't shoot! Hey! Don't test my aim! I am not gonna hurt her! Please help me, please get me out Yeah, I, I knew there'd have to be some bits I have to beep out. Um... Commanding, uh... Hands up. He's already got his hands up, isn't he? Well... He's already got his hands up. So, surely the right thing to do would be to tell him to take it easy. I mean, because he's obviously... Oh, okay, um, let's go, but then you don't want to sympathize with him, but at the same time he's dangerous, so you do want to keep him calm. Hey, 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 easy, easy now, let's just take this nice and slow. Oh. Right, all right, telling him, yeah. The... Freeze! Drop the gun. Don't move. Okay. He looks like he's gonna go for it, but he's not. If he was just about to go now, I would. <laughs> that wasn't me. So, he gets shot anyway, so my... Okay. <laughs> The hunt for the trapper came to a dramatic end tonight as police from the 3rd Precinct arrested their primary suspect, Jonathan Finn. Finn is wanted in connection with a string of grisly murders that has gripped the city and claimed the lives of first response police officers. More on the story as it develops. Ladies and gentlemen, the accused Jonathan Finn is guilty. Of that there is no doubt. Your job is simply to determine how he is punished. This man, the so-called trapper killer, has terrorized our community with his brutal murder spree. Booby trapping his victims so our brave first responders became victims themselves. These innocent people were targeted for no other reason than to play out Jonathan Finn's sick game. Jonathan Finn has confessed to every single one of these crimes. I ask that the court consider Jonathan Finn's voluntary confession of his crimes. He has spared the victim's families a prolonged trial and in doing so, has demonstrated a glimmer of remorse. Therefore, it is my recommendation that Jonathan Finn be spared the death penalty and instead sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Thank you. I see, because he's shown remorse, then, oops. Jonathan suppose, Finn, yeah. you have committed crimes of such a depraved nature that this court has no alternative but to sentence you to death by lethal injection. Oh. This court is adjourned. So they're going to do that anyway. I think it turns out it, it's kind of like he's not the real one. You've got to find out who the real one is. Or... Is he the real one? You know, like, is he covering Tap the up? the logbook button on your app to read plot updates, view character biographies, oh, that's why there's an and check the major mark. ripple events affecting your story. Okay. I am Ray Weaver, and this is The Crawl. Let's kick it off tonight with our very own homegrown... Let me just pause that right there. So, uh, oh, unfortunately I've got no recorder on here, so you can't see what I'm doing on my phone uh so just having a brief look all right so we've got some also some characters that haven't quite come into it yet so let's look at Becky Marnie um so Becky Marnie was a rookie cop in the third precinct okay so she's a rookie um Judge Van Stone I'm guessing you pronounce it like that uh, sentence Jonathan Finn to death for the oh yeah so we already know about that. Um, Daniela 
Cardenas. Danielle, Daniela was found tied up in Finn's workshop. Ah, oh, so that's who it was that was there. Jonathan Thin was caught red-handed with kidnapped victim Daniela Cardenas. I think you pronounce it like that, I'm not sure. And he was convicted and sentenced to death. So, Tom was Becky's partner in the third precinct, Tom Nelson. Okay, what's that? Ripple events. Here we go. So the arrest. Tom Nelson arrested Finn and saved his hostage. So I was... Okay, so does that mean then I was supposed to shoot then? I'm not sure. Because it says that he saved the day. So I could have had... So that means I could have claimed that if... Okay. So I could have claimed that title if I had shot him, then I would have been the one to arrest him. So, okay. Well, let's continue then and see Finn, where this goes. Johnny Finn, the Trapper. Sucker's been on death row for five whole years. Mr. Trapper's only got 48 hours left on our big blue marble, so I thought, hey, did you know one of the victims? Phones are open. Call the one, you're on. Hey, so, well, yeah, man. I mean, in my point of view, like, they can't fry this son of a... Hard enough, you know? I saw he got messed up as a kid. I'm sure you can't swear on radio. Boys in blue. I hear you, but it ain't like our cops got the finest reputation, you know? Look at Marnie for one. Promotion to homicide, metal, the works. This gal's on top of the world, and guess what? Turns out she's dirtier than the rest of us down here in the mud. Mishandling evidence, improper conduct, who knows what else? To him. Guess you never know who's one of the good ones. Okay. Police department. Yeah, so this is more of a story-based game and you just let it roll, I guess. Which is fine. I mean, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. There's not much gameplay because it is more of a decision-making game. I might also get Detroit Become Human as well. I mean, that's pretty similar except it is more... You get gameplay in that as well. all had a nice, relaxing weekend. Two new John Doe's. That's a dozen active cases in the last two weeks. We're on a hot streak here, and it ain't in the right direction. We're doing our best, sir. At least, some of us are. Son of a bitch. We're all on the same team here. Bring me some wins. That's all. Ooh, okay. I'm guessing it's because new character. Oh. Hey. Don't let Calvary get to you. Ever since he got internal affairs eyes on you, he acts like some kind of moral crusader. At this point, I just tune him out. Seriously? You doing all right? That guy's a jerk. Um... Hmm... Well, you know what? He was a jerk. I'd be doing a lot better if Calvary would take a short walk off a tall building. I would keep your distance until all this inquiry b blows over. Don't throw IA any bones. Okay. Uh, that, that seems... Yeah, let's go with that one. Yeah. Detective Marnie, come near a minute. So she's been promoted according to what's come up on my phone to what was it homicide i know you're gonna be hating this yeah come on you're a good cop i know you didn't contaminate the crime scene intentionally you know me pretty well look just tell me you're doing all right all right don't think i forgot what happens in 48 hours the trapper's execution it's because of us because of you he's getting his ticket punched and that's a heavy load Um, I mean, you do feel kind of bad, but the same, you know, because it, it's still, you're taking a life, and even though they've taken lives as well, um, I mean, having someone's death on your conscience, even if 
they deserve it for everything they've done isn't going to be easy you know because we're human beings we all have feelings i mean some people are different some people are like yeah you know they deserve it and, that. and then there's some that are just like yeah they they deserve it but you still can't help but feel bad because i mean it's still it's it's still not nice um i mean i think life imprisonment you know never being able to come out of prison again is probably better but anyway um let me think so trouble i've been better uh dismiss dismissive <sighs> okay um i'm going to go with well i mean he did you know what because he is a killer so let's go with that you one you think i give a about jonathan finn then you don't know me at all partner Got your message. Heading to see your client now. Sorry I couldn't make it back to town. I'm not crazy about meeting Finn without his attorney present. I know. Thank you for talking to him so quickly. Well, he doesn't have much time left, does he? No, he doesn't. You want to give me a little preview? It can be kind of a tough nut to crack. Be strategic. Great. Any tips? You need to get him to talk about Adam Jones. Who's Adam Jones? Better you hear it from him. You got a plan? Uh, I'm ready to hear it. I know how to get what I need. Okay. I mean, she's a lawyer, and she says she has a plan, so, I mean, well, um, you know, she seems like she would know what she's doing, but I think just to be on the safe side, it would be better. The more information she has, the better. Uh, so let's go. I'm ready if to hear it. If actually got something to say, then I'm ready to hear it. Call you oh. after. Thank okay. you. Never mind then. <laughs> Good afternoon. Hello. Your attorney says you have something you want to tell me. Sure, but you ain't gonna believe me. No one does. I used to blame God for what happened. At Las Palmas? The orphanage? We were just kids. We trusted them. But I've forgiven them now. God teaches us to forgive. If I gotta go out, I ain't going out a liar. Then tell me the truth. Miss Graves, I did not kill anybody. So he's changing his mind. So after admitting what he'd done and saying that he was owning up for all the murders, he's now saying that he didn't. Okay. And I suppose that's why... But it, Why did he decide to go back on it? So... Was it Adam Jones... Your window's closing fast. Um, let's go with that one. Do you believe Adam Jones is the one responsible for these murders? Oh, I don't believe it. I know it. Who is he? Adam was my best friend at the orphanage. And he killed those people. Okay. That's quite a big accusation. Uh, I'm listening. Amden doesn't exist. Um, well, you know what? She's trying to find out as much information as possible, so let's go with I'm Curious listening, again. But you have to give me more to go on. Adam and I will. We've seen some shit together. Makes you close. Adam escaped, and I found drugs. I was high from the moment I got out of there. And a couple of years later, a couple of centuries, hell if I know. Adam tracks me down online. And he keeps writing me and writing me and bringing up all that old sh from the orphanage. He says he knows exactly how to make him pay. So we made an arrangement. I rat myself out, I take the heat off him, spend a couple of months in the clink, and then wham! Trapper strikes again. Can't be me, because I'm in here. Makes sense, right? Pretty convenient. Convenient? Convenient is Father Raminsky running an orphanage. Fox in a hen house. You have no idea what it was like in there. The playroom. Well, that's what he called it, but... I think he was the only one who was having any fun in there. Cops never found it? No. Well, you can go see for yourself. I'm not even sure if the orphanage is still standing. So where is he? Adam. Now? No idea. 
How can we find him? Gotta start someplace. I got a place. Where? It's not down. Uh... It's better if I draw you a map. Hmm. Gonna draw me a treasure map? Um. Let's go, you know what, she seems like the type that would be sarcastic. You gonna draw me a treasure map? All I can do is point you in the right direction, but, uh... Nope. You got words. Use him. I kinda need to show you myself, you know? Say you're telling the truth, no dice. Um... Okay, because he could be leading her into a trap, but... But then it would show that... He is telling the truth, that it's not... Hmm... Let's, um, let's go with that one. Say you're so let's truth. say you're telling the truth. You don't know where he is now. Sounds to me like he's left you high and dry. And that's probably why I know what he's... like. The kind of places he hangs around. Down. We could go together, check it out. <laughs> you gotta give me more than that, or you ain't going nowhere. I never should have trusted him. Adam Jones should be in here, not me. Yeah, so I'm guessing because he hasn't kept to his promise, his friend, then he's kind of thinking, well, I'm gonna say that it wasn't me because he didn't stick to the deal. So... Maybe too late. Reassuring, I'll find Adam. Okay, well, we do need to get to the bottom of this and find out exactly if he's telling the truth or not, because, I mean, his life is at stake, so... You know, we should find out if he's definitely guilty. If this is all true, I will make sure you don't die a liar, okay? I will look into Adam Jones. If he's out there, I'll find him. How do you think? I got a report back on Adam Jones. He was at Las Palmas same time as my client, but he died in the same fire that closed it for good. Look, I know where you're going with this, and it's not gonna work. There's no way they're letting Finn out. It's too flimsy. I know. That's not what I'm after. Then why bring me out here? If you tell the judge about Adam Jones, maybe he'll grant Finn a temporary release and help the cops track down Jones. Lana? It's too late. It could lead to an appeal. All we're doing is delaying the inevitable. Adam Jones is reasonable doubt, Felicity. I never wanted the death sentence, but I just don't think this is enough to stop it from happening. Finn is not a good man, but he is not the trapper. And if he dies, the trapper is still out there. Hmm. So that's why we need to find out if he definitely is or not. But then letting him, letting him out isn't such a good idea because what if he is and he gets away? So, you know, it... it... Hmm. Uh, let's take it to the judge. You're on your own. Um... Ooh, okay, let's think about this. So, supportive, let's take it to the judge. Um... Yeah, uh, well, but then we don't want him. You're on your own, so... Damn, this is tough. Oh, I don't know what to do for the best. Uh, you know what, Let, let's just go on... Ooh, is this the right decision? Um... I kind of know which one I want to go for. Yeah. Uh, forget it. Let's go for that one. You're right. Let's take it to Judge Vanstone, see what happens. Thank you, Felicity. Don't thank me yet. Yeah, because, I mean, we do need his life to be spared for now. But. Thank you so much for seeing me so quickly. Miss Petty already filled me in on this whole Adam Jones business. Yes, sir. Uh, I just spoke with Mr. Finn. Now, in my experience, you light a candle under a man's ass, you can fly a balloon out of his mouth. <laughs> sir? Are you buying his story? 
Um, it doesn't add up. That doesn't make make much sense. Um, so no, that that would be a lie to say it um it adds up. But to say that, let's go I on that one. I have doubts, but we do have a record of an Adam Jones at the orphanage, same time as Finn. Has anyone spoken to Jones? He's been presumed dead for years. Well, that's quite a stretch, don't you think? <laughs> well, even if Jones exists, how can you be sure Finn can track him down? Hmm. We won't know unless we try. I think he can help us. Yeah, I think I think that one's. There's the better no option. way to know unless we try, sir. You're full of surprises, Miss Graves. Well, if you were in my position, what would you do? Hmm. Um. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not her place, but I mean, if you're, if there's a chance that somebody could be innocent and they are telling the truth, it's best to investigate it. I mean, yeah, it could end up being a complete waste of time and it, he could be the guilty one, but at the same time, you know, you don't know for sure. So, hmm, I mean, surely, especially if he's been sentenced to death, you would want to be able to... Be reassured and think, yep, yeah, he's definitely guilty, rather than that slight hint of doubt that he could have been telling the truth, and the next thing you know, these killings do actually start back up again. So, um, I mean, he could, but letting him out isn't a good idea. Let him help from the inside, inside the prison, because I mean, letting him out isn't a good idea. I, I don't think that's. That's very good. Uh, I think that he can good. help oh, us. Oh, okay. I'm going, definitely going for that one. If we grant Finn a single day release under armed guard, we may save an innocent man from wrongful execution. Hmm. I see. All right, Miss Graves. I'm going to grant Jonathan Finn a temporary release into police custody, but only for three hours, no more. Thank you. Okay, three hours. Hey, I mean, Lana, this you're is not, not going to believe day. this. He actually went for it. Surprised the heck out of me. Wow. <laughs> nice work, Felicity. Don't call me that. Um, I'm gonna head over to Homicide and let him know. Good call. And Felicity, thank you. Don't thank me yet. Yeah, it's not over yet. Right, I think... Biography updated. Felicity went to the police to confirm Finn's story. Outrageous. Case against Finn was air goddamn tight. Nailed him with a hostage for Christ's sake. Had to be one hell of a tale for you to go and spin the judge's head around. How do you save this? Alright, I'll tell you what, I'll do this last bit then, and then uh, I'm going to leave it there for today. So, also, uh, just doing my job. A man is about to die. Um... I mean, you, you know, you, you do try to get to the bottom of the truth, but then I think, you, but then she's not, what is she? What's the correct word? Uh, she's a district attorney. Um, so let, let's just, let's just, oh, hold on. it's because I'm on the wrong thing. Here we go. So let's I'm go I'm sorry on. to spring this on you. We all want the same thing. A man is about to be put to death, and we need to make sure he deserves it. Oh, yeah. Jonathan Finn deserves it. Of that, I am sure. Who exactly was Adam Jones? Did he come up at all during the investigation? Uh-huh. There was an Adam Jones at the orphanage. But you know what? Sorry, was killed in the fire that shut the place down. So the story kind of ends there. Finn's got impeccable timing. You don't think he's full of it? Just going to check something really quick. And that button doesn't work. Okay. Right, okay then. So, I don't know how you save this, which I will find out in a moment, because... Uh, so... You don't th Oh, it actually comes up with the que question on my phone, so now I can double-check it. Uh, there's something there... Just covering every possibility. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm trying to do. just covering every possibility. And Judge wants this thing airtight. 
Double airtight. He's granting a temporary release into police custody to help find Adam Jones. Finn tells me Rominski had a secret room at the orphanage. Called it the playroom. It's where he held his extracurricular activities. Does that sound familiar? No. I would remember they found something like that. I was wondering, uh, Mr. Hillary, so when you analyzed the bodies of the Trapper's victims, did you find anything that might suggest there could be another suspect? Gosh, that was five years ago. I, I don't think so. So no reason to suspect anyone but Finn? I do recall only, you know, submitting a partial analysis of the evidence because Mr. Finn confessed, so it seemed open and shut. So there was more evidence left to analyze? Well, yeah, trace signatures. Do you have access to all that data? Now just hold on a goddamn second. How can you even entertain the idea of letting this scumbag out of his cell? Finn had motive. He went through hell at Las Palmas, he hated the police. We even found his hair at another crime scene. The RV park, right? That was the social worker? And uh, Detective Marnie, would you mind walking me through that night again? I'll walk you through it in two words. Missed opportunity. Could have had Finn in handcuffs right then and there. Mm hmm okay so uh okay so let's go for that I one. think I'd like to hear from Detective Marnie if you don't mind uh sure Catherine Hope was a social worker at Las Palmas Orphanage we didn't know Finn had her we got a 10-8 at Hog Haven Trailer Park out by the highway. A break-in in progress. I was closest to the scene, so I went solo. Should have been a piece of cake, but that night everyone was on pins and needles because the trapper was raising Cain. And any one of us could have been next. Ooh, okay. So enter trailer search area. Um mm. You know what? Let let's cover the area and see if there might be anything around. And I think this video is going on a little bit longer than I expected. Hope you guys don't mind. But I have it's because it's it's story, so there's not a moment where you can just take a moment, just take a break, and save it. So I'm gonna have to wait for a really good opportunity. I actually might save it on one of the decisions, maybe. This is six oh nine on the CFBIP. Open exit on the highway. No perp. Gonna make an entry to the trailer. Acknowledged. Caution advised. Okay, so she couldn't find anything. So I could have just gone straight into the trailer then. But I'd just like to be sure. Search for the clue shown at the top of the screen. Oh, okay. Use your pointer to <coughs> highlight the clues before the timer runs out. Oh no. Some of these clues could help you in the future. So try to find them all. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. What do I do? Select? Oh, gosh. Was there more? I think there must no, there must have been more because it stayed on longer. I obviously didn't find them all. Damn, there was obviously some more evidence. Uh, 
Well, I think I might miss that one up. You know what, though, I'm I am quite enjoying this at the moment, but I can see there are a few little things which I'll talk about maybe in the next video because this one is stretching on a little bit longer than I wanted it to. Wow, being a police officer is not a very nice job. I was in the bar. I... I don't know. I woke up here. Oh god. Please, help me. Please. What's happening? Ooh. Help victim, flea trailer. Um... Oh, oh, oh! Help victim. Yeah, I mean, it's better to try and sacrifice yourself to save someone no. else. Oh, God! Oh, so I'm gonna have to run. Oh, it's gonna be a quick thing. What's going on? Oh, I thought I had to do something then. She's... Oh, no. Oh, that must be... Well, at least I tried. You know, I, I could have just made her get out sooner, but that's horrible, you know. I mean... It wasn't the kind of thing I'm eager to repeat. Ben must have seen you coming. Pulled a Houdini before finishing the job. Yeah, split so quick he left his gear behind. Uh, you raved to going alone. How did he get away? Yeah, how did he get away? How did Finn get away? I tried to lock down the perimeter, but... Finn was long gone by the time backup arrived. So how did you link Finn to the scene? I discovered that Mr. Finn had left a hair at the scene. We ran the DNA through our criminal database, and he came up as the match. He was already in the system. Finn had been in and out of the station so many times, he practically had a door with his name on it. When we got the tip uh, that he'd been spotted at a squat, we just happened to be driving by. Shit just seems to fall in your lap, detective. At least I caught him. Uh oh, Mama Bear's got a temper. Watch out. Yeah, try to work together. Oh, you're not helping. Um, hmm. I'm sorry, Detective, but yeah. your attitude is not helping. Yeah, he is I'm sorry. not very helpful. Last I checked, this was my case. And I got my guy convicted. Who the f are you to question my competency? I'm a district attorney. Are you finished? Okay, I think we've opened up enough old wounds for one day. Trapper case shook us all up. Sergeant. I'd say we've been more than patient. Is there anything else you wanted to know? Hmm. Thanks for hearing me out. Do you have Adam's for Ah, oh, okay, let's find out that one. Do you have Adam Jones's forensics records on file? Well, not from his death. Were there samples taken when he was placed in the orphanage? Yes, most likely. Would it be possible to pull those records and run them against evidence found at the Trapper's crime scene? Are you shitting me? Mm. You're wasting the time of this entire division, you understand? I got a better idea. We let that psycho die on the table. Cavalry! We'll have Mr. Hillary look into it, Miss Graves. Thank you. Right. Is it gonna switch to... Right, you know what? I'm going to leave it there for today. Oh, and I can actually go on the options, and I'm guessing that's where how I save it. There we go. So, um, let's save this real quick. Display language. Oh, okay. I suppose it automatically saves. So, I'm guessing you just leave it at that. Quit. Do I go and quit? Oh, here we go. Uh, all unsaved progress will be lost. Do 
Did it save? Oh, hang on a minute. Let me make sure. I think it's about to save now. Let me have a look. No. Okay. We'll leave it there then. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, really do appreciate it. Um, so... Yeah, uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it that thumbs up. It is a bit longer than what I do for most of these videos. Um, that was purely by accident because as you can tell, there's no... The only place that I can save it is when it's about to change scenes. Um, apart from that, because it's story-based, so obviously there's no gameplay, so it's not just like, oh, okay, I can just leave it there. Um, I might give Detroit Become Human a go. Um, uh, it's an 18, so I'm not quite sure how extreme it is, but from what I've seen with the gameplay, it seems okay. Um, but obviously, I will um, beep out um, some, if not all, of the language, um, particularly the stronger language um, in it. So that way, for those that are sensitive, then you can enjoy the video. Um, and yeah. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and... Yeah, make sure to subscribe as there are more videos coming out. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you next week for part two. Uh, which I'm really looking forward to filming. So I will see you then. Bye everyone.